Killers of the Flower Moon is Martin Scorsese's most recent film and is his foyer into the Osage murders that took place in Osage County, Oklahoma during the 1910s to the 1930s. It all has to do with a bunch of oil disputes and overall I'm not really going to be getting into any spoilers here today so you don't have to worry about that if you want to see it. Definitely, I do recommend it. It's quite a good film, although it is quite long, so I do understand, you know, if anybody has trouble sitting through those, maybe this is going to be a two-parter, take a little intermission, get a little snack, come on back type thing. But regardless, there seems to be a particular performance that's getting a lot of notice and being particularly memed on right now, and that is the performance from Brendan Fraser. Fraser is coming off of his recent whale performance where he won a uh, award for that and I personally uh, have not been able to watch that movie that kind of subject area is something that's really touchy for me so generally I haven't been able to give it a watch although I've heard how absolutely amazing it is and so I know I'm sure people probably had some decently high expectations going in uh, for this film for him especially because he's being put up against and next to Robert De Niro and Leonardo DiCaprio. Two of the best, you know, actors of their time. But again, considering he did just get an uh, award for The Whale, and considering that was such a highly praised role, uh, you know, you might be wondering what exactly people are complaining about with this performance. Well, essentially, this film definitely has a very intense and very serious tone overall. The film really tries to get across its material in a very serious way that can handles the matter in, uh, you know, some people would say in a very uh, nonchalant way in some regards. However, I think Scorsese was very particular with how he tried to show this entire thing, whether you agree with his lens or not. Regardless, the thing that particularly seems to be rubbing people the wrong way about Fraser's, uh, you know, performance is that it comes in about a th in the third act, so towards the end of the film, and he basically plays a lawyer. As this lawyer, he has a very very, very over the top and crazy scene where he is just shouting at the top of his lungs at the court. Now, generally speaking, you would think that this person would get reprimanded by the judge as, you know, you're not allowed to be making scenes within the courtroom. And on top of that, you would generally think that such a person would maybe even get thrown into jail for contempt, uh, you know, or again, the judge would at least simply try to, you know, make sure everything's in line and wouldn't allow for such an over the top thing to occur. However, it seems that there is, uh, you know, in the book that this was kind of going off of a scene, particularly where a lawyer does shout at the court. On top of that, it seems that Scorsese has been asked recently what he thought of Fraser's performance, and he said that it was amazing. He praised it very highly and said it was exactly what he was looking for, and that Fraser got, got the point across perfectly. Again, though, I can understand how such an abrupt and sudden over-the-top performance can seem kind of out of place in an otherwise very serious and intense film. So, I mean, I'm not saying that people are wrong with their kind of opinions on this situation. However, if Scorsese was looking for this type of, uh, you know, performance, and on top of that, if this seems to be what was present in the book that this is all based off of, then it definitely makes sense that this is where Fraser went with the entire thing. What do you guys think? Have you seen the movie? Did you enjoy it? Did you not? Did you think that Fraser's performance was perfect and do you agree with Scorsese? Or do you think that it felt way too out of left field and just didn't quite fit overall in the film? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. Besides that, if there's anything else that you want us to talk about or review, definitely let us know in the comments below too. We're going to be going ahead and getting out uh, various reviews coming here soon regarding this film as well as the Marvels is going to be coming out soon and, you know, anything else that comes comes out this year and uh, you know on top of that if there's any movie news etc that we have missed let us know and we can go ahead and chat about it soon guys all right uh, you can uh, follow us here for more movie news and reviews you can follow us on movie sessions for trailer content crazy rocky for variety content and then the try podcast for our podcast channel and we have a discord linked in the description below that you can join to talk with us about movies and video games all right guys I will see you all in the next one